我哋继续会议啦，吓、啊、咁就诶、uh, ，Let's continue. I'll invite the deputations to speak. Each deputation and individual attending will have three minutes speaking time. I'd like to remind you that your submissions or oral presentations will not be covered by. Legislative Council powers and privileges, Cap 382, safeguards and exemptions. So let's invite the first speaker, Mr. Tan Ji Wai, Chairman. Uh, I need to express regret. On 15th of December last year, I had. Mentioned the officials present that CE had wanted to talk to youth about securing land for housing. After expressing opinion, I think、uh, the officials did not follow up, and then、uh, the government is now resuming land, and a lot of young people write in Facebook saying that there's four thousand hectares of Land that's not been used, so that's my first regret. And moving on, I'd like to ask the Development Bureau officials: When did they know? When did they know his family has land in the Northeast? That means these. Policy bureau officials, if they were aware, did they remind him? Did they were they influenced by him? If the above occurred, that is, they were, then they might have been abetting a plan that. Uh, would have possible collusion with the private sector, so this development plan needs to be done all over again, including consultation. We would like to see a bottom-up, democratic, no collusion, clean plan. There shouldn't be doubt,、uh, ambiguity. So I'd like the officials to respond. When were they aware that Paul Chan or his family had land holdings? And I'd like to quote from the Bible. There are some standards, but I'm not sure if he had、uh, read chapter six. Uh, Ill-gotten gains. If I used、uh, improper means, how can that be considered clean? If the citizens lies, so I need to strike you. So I hope, Miss Secretary Chan. Okay, time's up. Next. Mr. Lai Mingzhi, our CE likes to use youth as an excuse to promote、uh, the NENT, saying that ten、uh, years hence home will be in the northeast. Then, if you want to use us as an excuse, don't you need to listen to us? A young person, even if it's hard to afford housing, I still oppose this plan because. I don't want my children to ask me, "Where did our、uh, land come from?" I can't answer.、Uh, you, I can't tell my daughter that、uh, the government destroyed households, destroyed、uh, agricultural land. To、uh, I, I can't tell my children this. If you ask the young people, they have reservations. You can see. The young people in the last two days, they oppose the N E N T plan because our home is 
is not just the four walls uh, surround uh, 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 comprising 400 feet. Uh, you, actually, we should have a general referendum whether they really support this home destroying plan. Actually, Hong Kong doesn't have a land shortage. It's just an unequal distribution. Uh, some 50% of people uh, live in government housing and they only make up 21% of land. But uh, for small houses, they take up 46% of land, even though they only house 7% of the people. So after taking away from roads, uh, slopes, uh, there are some... 30 odd hectares, and you're saying there's still some land that can't be used. So, why don't you just tell us directly how much land can be built, uh, can be used to build uh, in the downtown area? You also uh, refer to the 1200 uh, rural development uh, small house land. So, uh, we only have 100 odd hectares for housing. So, this is just like the Old Testament, where the rich man has lots of cattle, but he still wants to grab from the poor. So, don't use, there's no time as an excuse. We have a large golf course that uh, is lying uh, available. Just now, the speaker had referred to um, Micah verse 6. So, you had actually said last year that secretaries have to be whiter than white. So, secretary, I think you should resign. Next one, please. Mr. Chan, Mr. Chan Shi, secretary, members, good afternoon. About the revised NENT plan, the our society believes that uh, the government should shelve this enhanced uh, uh, new, t new town development model. It should use the idle land and also brownfield sites to um, build house housing and to take this opportunity to revise the government's uh, narrow minded uh, policies. I hope that the government can conserve rural land and draw up a, um, a policy to preserve agriculture in Hong Kong. Hong Kong's um, policy is now to pro uh, led by uh, property development, is a narrow uh, perspective, and many scholars have uh, discussed uh, this subject and said that it is mm, land can be used to create a community with um, local t characteristics. Our society has uh, conducted some surveys on the history of the NT, and our conclusion is that the rural area is uh, full of uh, vibrancy with a um, long history, and farmers have also accumulated uh, m much wisdom in how to live. And we have a uh, very um, many stories of um, loving and cordial relationships among community residents. So, so under this kind of planning, we will not be able to create a, a good community. And on the contrary, uh, you are wiping out the um, homes of many people. And this kind of devastation cannot be made up by any kind of compensatory um, measures. Um, uh, during the past, the past few days, uh, f many farmers have shared their stories about how they have um, built their homes there and raised a family there, and they've uh, working. They are working hard on farm land and farming, and build a farming community. Now, this latest proposal is turning these people into numbers compensation figures, and you are ignoring the many diversified lifestyle in these areas uh, that um, needs to be preserved. In Taiwan, there is a scholar called Chan Kei Nam, and he has, uh, his writings have great influence on the uh, Taiwan community, and he said that a meaningful community life includes the following nine factors. First, good, uh, rich natural resources, um, good uh, view or landscape, comfortable living environment, um, 
traditions with a good uh, uh, good traditions uh, uh, and, and good arts uh, community uh, activities and so on. Time's up. Next one, Mr. Elizabeth Chair Wang Xiu Yin. Um, Hong Kong was originally a fishing village, and our population has grown over time. And we are now a international financial center. And if we want to have development, we need land. So un unavoidably, we have to increase land supply. Uh, some people say that uh, the population will not grow as fast as what uh, the government has projected. I think it's a matter of time. Um, those with um, who are forward looking, we know that. Uh, uh, we need time to do to get things developed, and we have to make good preparations for our future development. Now, if we want to develop a place, uh, northeast or, or golf course, and uh, um, a lot of cre nuisance will be created, and the um, the animal life there will be affected, and there will be insects and so on. So, if um, residents are not relocated, these insects and cockroaches may uh, cause a nuisance to the residents, and they would also do harm to agricultural produce. Now, there have been also been reports that there is heavy metal underground in the northeast, and this shows that uh, the northeastern part is not suitable for farming. And some people told me that. Uh, um, for imported vegetables, we inspections have to be made. Now, recently, the Fanling Golf Court and the uh, CE's Villa have have been uh, will be included in the uh, future development. There have been talks about that, but I find it regrettable this move. Now, the um, golf course in Fanling is uh, one of the rare um, golfing courses in Hong Kong for international matches, and a lot of international matches are are, are, are held here. So I don't think we should uh, demolish it, and we shouldn't find another place to build another golfing range. Now, for cycling and golfing, um, they're not very common, but I think we have to respect uh, every kind of uh, sports. And um, and it's, it's, uh, these uh, sports are available uh, for all. Now, as for the CE's villa, it has a history of over 80 years. Um, I think we have to study whether it should be preserved and conserved. Secretary, finally, I would like to say that I uh, have every sympathy for you, because recently you have been answering questions uh, on your wife and your wife's company, and you don't have a real beneficial interest in all these matters. But I think everyone is is criticizing you out of their very strong emotions on these matters. Now, I understand that if you are, re are really keen on making money, you sh sh wouldn't have joined the government as a secretary. So I believe that you are sincere in serving the community. I hope that you would not give up and get frustrated. Thank you. Next one. Uh, can I ask the secretary to take a look and look this way first. I want to um, share this with Brother Porter, and then you quoted from the uh, the school anthem and the, of the New Asia College and the Bible. And as for the school anthem, I think a lot of media have reported on that. I want to talk about the Book of Micah in the Bible. I whether you have read through the whole uh, book. Or just one verse in chapter two, verse two, the book of Micah talks about people who are greedy, and they are snatching away people's uh, other people's uh, properties. And then in chapter three, verse one, and then it says that, uh, don't you know what fairness and justice is? And you are trying to deprive the poor of their possessions. So the whole book has to do with the ancient prophet telling or issuing a warning to the rich people, saying that they are unjust and they are snatching away other people's properties and land. And, they are, and the whole book is full of curses towards these rich people. So in the middle, and, they, uh, and the prophet um, uh, urges them to act justly and to do mercy and to walk humbly uh, with the Lord. So the prophet is condemning um, people ambassling for their own good. Well, I have another verse of the Bible to share with you. In Kings, the book of Kings, there is a story about this king, Aha. 
there is an uh, a civilian called Nab Naba, and Aha wanted to um, possess for his own this Naba's uh, grave, uh, this uh, graveyard, and then he said that he, I would exchange a piece of land uh, in return for your gra um, graveyard. And or I will pay you a cash. And then this Naba said that I don't want to give you my ancestors' land. And the king was not unhappy. And the king sent his wife uh, to deal with the matter. And ultimately, the wife uh, used a smearing tactics and to incite the uh, public to stone the uh, the 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 grave uh, the uh, the graveyard uh, owner uh, to death. So prophets in the book in the Bible refer to people who speak the words of the Lord, and the the prophet said that that you are committing a crime, a sin here, and then Elijah s said to the king directly said that you are touching away uh, other people's properties and you are committing a sin, and then the king ultimately got penalized for his uh, sin. So I want to tell uh, brother Paul Chen. If you earn the whole world and you are um, having your life taken away f from you, what good does it do? Next one, Ms. Emily Wong. I I don't support any NT project. It's not that I don't uh, support providing housing people, how uh, providing housing to people, increasing land supply, or create or uh, developing creative industries. It's just that. That the government is insisting on its own way, and you have never provided um, a, a platform for us to discuss the matter thoroughly, and you don't have any policies at all. Hong Kong doesn't have any land policy, no population policy, no farming policy, no policy on, ac on creative industries. So, without these policies, what will be the outcome? Policies are the foundations on which to build our society. Now, if we don't have a foundation, it's like a fool building his land, his house on a, a piece of uh, sandy land. You will not build your house on um, sand. And you are just here to implement the policies. And then the other people have to take the blame or the responsibility for your uh, very wrong policies. Of course, some people are going to benefit from what you're doing, but after since the handover, and we've uh, we are uh, bearing the consequence of many mistaken policies. So why are you uh, embarking on the path of blindly developing uh, different areas and? A lot of property developers have created uh, deep-seated social problems. I may pay my mortgage in ten year, t ten to t twenty years time for my flat, but if you are pressing ahead with your policies, then the consequence will have to be brought on a on a number of generations afterward. Uh, there is also this group of uh, farmers who are. Is a source of our food supply. They will be evacuated from their home. They will become refugees, and actually, they don't need your help. They don't need your compensation, and they don't care about um, relocation. What they need is just a piece of land for them to uh, farm, to live and work happily. And actually, this group of farmers can help us secure a, a, a good source of uh, food supply for us. Um, they are a good example of. Uh, Having self-sufficiency among us, and they are a group contributing much to our society. But it seems that the government is turning a blind eye to what they've uh, done, and just they are just offering uh, some compensation to them. Now, in the last decade, we built um, development areas, and we, in in this era, we need to tackle food uh, problems. We can't just focus on uh, property, property all the time. Next one, Mr. Wong Xiuping. Good afternoon, members. I'm Wang Xiuping. Because of the XRL, uh, my house and my um, well has been have been adversely affected. 
I've made my point over and over again, but nobody is paying attention to what I said. My f my potted flowers have died because of this. I don't know what to do. Oh, sorry, I'm not very articulate. I'm in dire situation. I don't know what I can do further. Well, they've never come to visit um, my home. I've been here in this um, chamber for a number of times. Well, I don't know how to express myself because I didn't receive a lot of education. My flowers are dying, are withering. Well, I don't know how to express my feelings or myself. I'm a farmer, and my plants are dying. I don't have a good uh, water supply. You see, they are half dying, or they're they're, they're half alive and half uh, dead, just like myself. My well has dried up, and there are cracks in my home. And the XRL company says that it, it, it has nothing to do with them. I've made my comments many times. I don't know where to turn to um, to complain. My plants have all died, and I get zero compensation. I really don't know how to express myself. Myself. And uh, I I don't get any income at all for the past year, and there are cracks in my house, no water anymore in my well. Members have promised to help me, but you are not doing that. I'm hopeless, in a hopeless situation. I'm not very articulate. Well, you've uh, talked about uh, the problem with your plants. But what we are focusing today is NENT development project, the revised proposal. Have you got any other comments on that uh, front? And you are ignoring us. You are part of the government. The government turns a blind eye to our plight. I have no income for a whole year. Uh, we are in the new Northeast. Uh, will that affect us? Uh, West Rail, uh, you see, you've given us a lot of hope, but now we're totally disappointed. Uh, the the top discussion topic is more or less the same. Uh, we don't know how to express ourselves. We have no power, no money. You are educated. We're not educated. We don't know where to complain. Uh, we're talking about the Northwest. We're closest to the Northwest. Uh, nobody can help me. Uh, West Rail is a government project. The express rail, high speed rail. Nah, okay. Uh, government officials have heard you, so they might respond to you. Next, Mr. Lee Duxon. I, uh, you can sit. Mr. Lee, I uh, rear carp, carp fish. There's a tunnel there, and it affects our water table by a half. So the uh, high-speed rail has said they would monitor the situation, but they haven't resolved the issue. Uh, my carp uh, are my livelihood, but they're just stalling. Uh, there's no response. I just want you to help. This is 
help us negotiate uh, and uh, you have a uh, impact on the farmers but you're only stalling you are not sincere in solving the problem Do you really want to sacrifice us? If it's for the benefit of Hong Kong, but now you're affecting the villagers, you should help us resolve our livelihood issues. Thank you. Next, Miss Lady Chan. I have lived in Ngao Tham Mei some two, three decades, but uh, the high speed uh, rail way is affecting us. It makes us unhappy, and the environment uh, our The livelihood is now in the hands of private developers and senior officials. We are very unhappy and we, we are now drilling underneath our village. You are affecting our environment. There is noise. The house I live in, uh, there's a tunnel beneath it. Shouldn't I get some compensation? So, my whole lifetime life savings are invested in the house and it's being undermined right now, literally. Going beneath my house, I have no where to complain. They want statistics, figures. They want me to describe the impact. Well, when it runs underneath my house, I'm not compensated. But my property values uh, decrease, my life savings decrease. So what should I do? Where should I seek redress? Mr. Paul Chan, you're using our land without any concern for our feelings. We're unhappy. We don't know where to complain. What can I do? I'd like Mr. Paul Chan to respond because under my small village house right beneath my house and I lodged complaints and I asked around but there was no response what can I do Mr. Chan Our hearing is about the NT Northeast. I understand that a lot of speakers will talk about our time, mate. I'd like you to share your experience and the officials perhaps can learn from your experience. And how it, it would be relevant to NT N E where the topic is about the Northeast planning. If you have views, please use your three minutes and our legislators would like to hear your views. So, next, 
Mr. Zhou Guiyin. I'm from Ngao Tam Mei. Just now, developing NE, aside from uh, uh, the high speed rail, there's also uh, East Rail that goes through Gudong. Our whole, we have the West Rail and the high speed rail. So after construction work starts, it uh, our water table is falling. Their construction uh, scale is very uh, large. It's polluting our water source. Uh, they are con conducting explosions on the slopes. The, our village is now being affected by this plan. The fish farmers don't have a water. The housing, the uh, the water table and uh, the soil erosion is, has caused cracks in houses. We've had we lodge complaints. We go to the government offices. They don't. They ignore us. So are we not human? We've complained so many times. No, there has been no government department uh, helping us out. But every day we have to endure explosions. We've had uh, the police uh, had to resolve disputes because there have been fights over water. The fights have broken out because of uh, disputes over water use. So how are we to, going to live? They're destroying our ecology, they're destroying our houses. We're not against development. But we are good citizens. We're not asking for handouts or social security, but they are affecting us. But they want us to prove it with ex. But they want us to have experts prove it, and uh, it can be appealed all the way. So how are we going to prove our case? The government's basic goal should be to preserve the life and property of its uh, citizens. If they can't do this, how can we support the government? We're very, very angry. Next, Miss Law Chosan. Are you going to speak, Miss Law? I think the high speed rail is a very it's a big nuisance because in the past we didn't have centipedes in the past but now we see large centipedes and these might sting people and the houses are cracked and there's nowhere to complain uh, nobody people ignore us it's now like a deserted village uh, this needs to be addressed You are destroying villages. Will we have villages in the future? Will we have villages in the future? It's meaningless. We won't have any more village houses. 
Anything to add? No? Thank you. Mr. Cox is saying. Because of the high speed rail net railway, we realized that uh, the wells were drying up. And over the years, we were like clowns. I, I don't like coming here because I don't know how to speak. I'm just a farmer. I had uh, uh, reared f edible fish in st starting from 1983. Now I rear carp. And we're like clowns. Uh, the, the, this department says they'll help us, that department says they'll help us, and we go here and there. But there's no progress. My wells have dried up uh, some 50%. In the last year or two, uh, every year I use $2,000 electricity. So I've, my income has dropped substantially. Because I need to use uh, electricity pumps to pump water. So I have uh, extra utility expenses so the government should take note of this the high-speed rail they haven't issued compensation or restored the water source because I'm right on top of their alignment so the Shallow wells have no more water. The deep well has only half the water capacity. I'm worried whether we will be able to receive CSSA. If that can be done, then that's marginally okay. But I don't want to do that. I hope that you can help us. How to assist us. Please pay attention to the problems we are facing in Outer May within the um, alignment of the XRL. That's all I want to say. Next one. Mr. Chen Wai Ming next. Is it working now? I'm from Martin Park Village. I am against senior government officials developing new areas. You are endangering our health. You are cutting away all the um, fruit-bearing trees, and health is of utmost importance. You are making huge profits together with the property developers, but for us, we are forced out of our home and we don't have a way to make a living. Do you Have you heard what I said, Paul Chen? The government has long been oppressing the farmers. And it's because of this we are seeing so much waste produced in the city. Farming is a recycling uh, activity. The produce that we produce are very good. For the Chinese people, we need cereals, uh, vegetables, fruits. We've been eating these over thousands of years. We're not like the US because you've been suppressing the agricultural activities for a long time. That's why we end up with so such a big a problem on our waste uh, today. Well, chemical fertilizers 
are not good. We would uh, adopt a recycling pattern and then we would use the um, decomposed materials as fertilizers for our farmland. We are very poor people. Senior government officials, you are destroying our farmland and our houses. Well, all over the world, p countries have agricultural policies. But then Hong Kong is such a developed uh, city. Why don't we have an agricultural policy as well? Well, your time's up. The next one, please. Mr. Fung Si Kang. I'm also going to talk about Outa May. I was born in Outa May. Um, is my root, so to speak. The building of the XRL will uproot me and my home. Um, the works proceed without consulting the villagers, and then when problems arise, they are not facing them, and they are trying to shy away from their responsibility. The, ton the work on the tunnel is being um, conducted, and the well is drying up. And if the second tunnel uh, is going to be built, then the problem is o only going to aggravate. And they told us that we are too far away from the XRL, 1.5 km away. But then if, well, let's not forget the Alta May is like a basin. Uh, in topography, and we share the water resources there. We have the right to the water resources there. And the with the building of XRL is taking away our water supply source. So how can we continue with our farming practice to earn an income? So I hope that the XRL can um, tackle uh, our problems. Next one, Ms. Wong Kui Lan. I'm um, also from Outa May. I've lived here for over 60 years. So, well, can you uh, stop for a while? Sorry, uh, Mr. Abacha. So now, uh, Ms. Wong, uh, can you p please hold for a while? Mr. Chen? Well, The rules are that we'll, each speaker will be given three minutes. Mr. Chen? Sorry, speaker not coming through. Sorry, speaker not coming through. Mr. Chen, can you uh, please listen to me? Well, please don't um, speak anymore. Sorry, speaker not coming through. Yes, we've heard your views, Mr. Chen. Can you please um, follow the rules here? When others are speaking, please don't uh, stand in the way. Sorry, speaker not coming through. Mr. Chen, if you continue like that, there is no way that we can continue with the meeting, or else I might have you ask you to step out. All right, now let's uh, ask uh, Mr. Wong Kui Lan. I've lived in Nauta May for some 60 years. Now the SRL is here to drill a tunnel, and the uh, well water has been adversely affected. So I hope that the SRL can uh, give us back our water supply. Without water, well, there is no way then that we can go on living. We have to drink water. We have to irrigate. The tunnel actually passes through uh, the part beneath my well. So please give us back our water supply or water resources. Anything to add from you? No. Next one, Mr. Lao Su Chong. I'm also from Outa May. Um. Well, please speak to the mic. Uh, please help him a bit. Sorry. 
please continue. I'm also from Alta May. The West Rail or the XRL uh, construction works after they have commenced and it has adversely affected the water supply. And I hope that somebody can fix the problem for us. I want to have um, water supply like we used to, to have in the past. This is my simple request. Nothing to add? All right, next one. Mr. Lau Kam Wai. Perhaps my um, experience is like that in NTNU villages. Uh, I have a, a house. I live in a house built by my father. And in 19... Uh, that, was, that was demolished. Uh, and I reported to the police. And after the police made an investigation, the police told me because Lands Department uh, said that there was insufficient um, evidence, so no prosecution would be made. But then the people, the culprits were caught uh, red handed. I don't know why they said that there was insufficient evidence. The Hong Kong police also told me that if you wanted to find out why, perhaps you can ask a lawyer to write into the DFJ to seek an explanation. Well, how can I find a lawyer? I don't have the money to um, hire a lawyer. Now, as for the water quality or water wells, I have a well which is um, outside a distance of 300 meters from the Xujiang area. I used uh, to uh, raise chicken and I used a lot of water, but then um, that was stopped some time ago. And recently, a, a couple of years ago, I dug something up from the bottom of the well this artifact and when we um the when we tried to um put a a a a pump or into the in into the well then there was this uh, we found that there was this uh this uh bucket and because the well dried up a couple of years ago uh, because of the XRL uh, construction, so I was able to retrieve this artifact of mine dropped down there a few years ago. Next one, Mr. Chang, Ms. Chen Ken. I want to use this analogy. Say, if the one next to you is doing renovation work, if he uh, does uh, damage to your house. Your neighbor will come to you to say sorry immediately, and I'll try to uh, make amends or try to offer compensation. But then, in Hong Kong, uh, whenever there are major construction works like the XRL or other development projects of major companies. Um, these development projects may uh, be very important to the entire economy, but they just uh, uh, take care of their own interests and they don't care about those affected. Well, for our village and our villages that are affected but no um, business conglomerate or the relevant government official will come to apologize to us for the impact they create on us or offer any uh, compensation at all. So why is it always that the village's um, interest have to be sacrificed in major development projects? for members of the community, uh, they will not know about these uh, development projects if they didn't deliberately try to find out. But when it's only when there are problems that we are notified of these uh, major development projects. The villagers have been chasing after the uh, developers for um, 
for them to take remedial measures, they are being ignored. I don't understand the kind of consultations that you've been undertaking. What good does it serve? No matter how much we how how much we are against it, then the XRL uh, turns a deaf ear to our requests. Your development is adversely affecting people's lives uh, and livelihood. Nobody comes out to make an apology, and nobody comes out to say what kind of remedial measures will be undertaken. Uh, the same goes to the, the Chao Yun um, Chun villages. I don't know why it, this kind of situation continues or persists. Next one, Mr. Uh, Tang Xiu Kwan. Uh, good afternoon. I'm from Alta May. Because of the XRL, the construction works, um, we are adversely affected. The, the houses are cracked, the roads are cracked, and and the company says that it has these cracks have nothing to do with them. Well, for a person in my age, we should lead a um, com more comfortable life, and we should t take care of the family. Now, just like today, I came here. I couldn't cook a meal for my children, so our lives are adversely affected. And there's no way then can we can live, uh, lead a comfortable life. Well, I have never been in this uh, kind of uh, institution before, uh, in the council before, and uh, your staff said that uh, our the damage to our houses, our roads, our uh, the the um, the brakes and and so on and so forth has nothing to do with them. Their construction works. Now, if somebody gets injured, what is going? What what what, uh, what remedial measures can be undertaken? The senior government officials and um, electrical members have visited us, but there have never been any response from them. Oh, thank you. Next, the slot, Muihin. I think don't need to add. I think everything has been said. I just want high-speed rail to address our questions. They always say it's not uh, it's not their problem. It was it wasn't. Uh, I hope that uh, there shouldn't be northeast development. It affects the ecology. Next, Mr. Law Sanjung. I'm also from Ngautam May. I lived there for 50 years. And I use the water there to grow flowers, vegetables, and uh, rear fish. Ever since uh, the high speed rail started work in 2011, the flowers, vegetables, uh, fish don't have enough water. The high sp speed rail, they ignore the villagers. If they don't approve, we will surround their construction site. Next, Mr. Zhang Lapan. I'm a member of the yeah, Aota May Concern Group. You might think it's not related to Northeast. Uh, development, uh, but it's actually similar that the government has ignored a group of people's interests and needs. You can see our Tame villages, uh, a disadvantaged group. They have low education. They engage in agriculture, similar to the Northeast. The EIA report didn't say that it would have such a large impact. Their houses are cracked, their uh, water table has disappeared. They rely on that. They rely on well water. But ever since the work started in 2010, uh, 
the MTR had been negotiating with them, and at the end of May, the MTR said they did not apply for compensation and required them to go through the procedures once more. So the government hasn't done anything. The highways department should monitor the works. <laughs> so they have the op they have the obligation to speak up, uh, to pressure the MTRC. If you look at the northeast development, a lot of residents there are concerned what will happen after planning and during consultation. Not they weren't told anything. So uh, they might have different opinions. Some support development. Some say they won't relocate. So by the third stage of consultation, why do we still have the same slogans? When uh, the site was selected, they should choose development sites very carefully. We shouldn't still have people shouting slogans. If you look at the 2030 plan, uh, it mentioned Gudong uh, North, Fan, Fanling North, uh, but not uh, the golf course or fallow land, short-term lease land. Why do they insist on developing Gudong North? So we feel the government should announce or disclose the site's selection criteria. They should know why it was chosen. And we hope that the government can hear the villagers. Uh, it can serve as a reference. Mr. Liu Honggei, uh, Mr. Liu, you can sit down. I'd like to ask, do we have the high-speed rail official here? Today, we're t the discussion is about the Northeast. It doesn't matter. I'd like tell Mr. Paul Chan the situation in Aotan Bay. The high-speed official, high-speed rail officials they met with the they said they had a close monitoring of nine walls in Aotan Bay with a village chief well, was there financial compensation? Now, assuming there was compensation, I'm aware that there were two or more communal wells. What is a communal well? That is, oh, that is, I have a share, and other villages have a share in the well. If there was compensation, I should get a share. There should be a report. So I'd like to tell Mr. Paul Chan, when you resume the Northeast, you need to take care of villagers' needs. Okay? I'd like to see how many legislators have questions. We have four. Tan Yunahan, Lao Wives, Emily Lao, Fernando Jung, Albert Chan. Five minutes. Ms. Emily Lao, thank you for coming to the Legislative Council. Today we're talking about NT Northeast. But a lot of individuals are talking about Aotame. In previous 
occasions uh, we had this situation even though Mr. Paul Chan is not directly responsible uh, this is a question for Chung Bing Lang and MTRC the speakers have been to uh, ombudsman but uh, the issue is not resolved so if this secretary wishes to speak he can do so this issue has dragged on for so long we need to help the residents to deal with this seriously I think the secretary or the complaints division needs to follow up we already have a case uh, we won't be able to help them so I hope after the meeting the secretary can liaise with the complaints division uh, and uh, check up on the follow on the latest situation we need to follow up well chairman as uh, the speakers said, do you think they're they got nothing better to do they have to come to central it is obvious that their problems aren't resolved they have no water how can they farm this might not be directly related, but if their livelihood is affected, then other residents would be similarly concerned. Why should it linger so long? What kind of scientific proof do you want? How are they going to provide that? The officials and MTRC are bullying they're saying they're going to surround your construction site. And I think uh, Mr. Chan will tell Zhang Binglang that if they are going to surround your construction site, how can you con how can you work? We don't need to occupy Central. We just need to occupy the construction site. So I will participate. Uh, they need to follow this up with the complaints division so Mr. Chan can you respond Mr. Secretary for development as Emily Lau said the high speed rail bureau is transport housing bureau I have taken note of what has been said we will liaise with the transport housing bureau and relay your concerns. So the secretary will follow up with the complaints division to see if the villagers have time. Our secretary can uh, handle their complaint. They each have their own case. They can liaise with our staff and uh, they can be f uh, dealt with together the residents have taken a long trip uh, to attend this meeting we need to help them we need to take note of their case thank you chairman Yes, so we'll see whether our staff can help out. Next, Ms. Tan Yun Han. Uh, we have 30 odd uh, deputations, and some 20 odd of them come from Ota Mei. I think they are cornered. I think everybody is concerned about livelihood. When, when the high speed rail was built, is being built, the water is being affected. I asked.
past the villages there's chlorine in the water uh, and the plants will die they need natural water source they raise a lot of good questions. I'd like to tell the villagers, does the government have an agricultural policy? That it, it, if there was, they wouldn't have this problem. The construction brings about so many problems. So I asked, what, what's happening? They think we're officials, we're just legislators but they're very angry so if they've been to Lejko before the legislators have been to their village and it's all in vain uh, let's uh, let's if we look at the issue from their perspective we have 20 odd speakers from Otam Mechun You should. So I suggest that we the immediately hold a meeting with MTRC. We don't need to wait after summer recess. Uh, I I agree with the speaker. Uh, Mr. Chong Lapan said this well uh, the NT NE residents uh, will are very concerned because they can see what's happening uh, elsewhere so in the future develop you will face a lot of problems and I'd like tell our friends we would like to hear all the views we've got another meeting on the 31st well we've got two meetings on 30th and 31st respectively many people will come to express their views the project is going to affect the whole of NE actually and uh, and following any NT is Hong Shui Q so if the government doesn't have any um, good policies yet and has not concluded from the experience of Aota May, it should not rush that long into the uh, project. So we should take reference uh, from Aota May. Thank you for c traveling all the way uh, from Aota May to here to express your views. Well, a year ago when they were here, I was not in Lechka. I didn't. I wasn't a member. So as legislators uh, I think we should handle it and I agree with Emily Lau that we should not wait till the summer after the summer recess let's uh, try to um, do something in the interim period and the XRL construction work proposal was passed in the last term of LegCO but uh, as incumbent Legislators, I think we should deal with the matter. Well, please, sir, stay quiet. The complaints division. Well, let's see who, uh, which members are interested uh, to join in the discussions and follow up on the matter. And then we will ask the um, complaints division to issue a circular to invite members to join uh, in, a, in a group to uh, follow up on the matter. Well, we hope that uh, members can lend your support to the villages. Next one, Dr. Fernando Zhang. Well, I'd like to thank deputations for coming over for the Outer May uh, problem. It shows precisely that after an approval was given to a certain project, it was dubious as to whether the relevant parties are taking care of the needs um, of the affected uh, villagers or residents. Would they adopt a people-oriented approach in the construction works? Uh, maybe it's all empty talk. So, Chairman, I'm concerned. 
about the problems faced by residents in this piece of land, especially the farmers. And Mr. Au just now said clearly that farmers have to work on the farmland. They have to understand um, the nature, the soil nature of the land, and they have to nurture the land, and they have to do infrastructure and to build cells network, and it takes uh, three, five years, or even longer. So Mr. Au has been there for three generations, and sometimes uh, some families are there for f four generations. So you are chanting slogans again like uh, people-oriented and uh, uh, approach to uh, develop the area, but in effect, you are destroying the um, the original rural way of living, and you are taking away from them their means of making a living. Now you are paying out an extra payment of six hundred thousand dollars, and you have to settle settle the problem with that. That so, secretary, how are you going to respond to their request? Farmland is the lifeblood of the farmers. And taking away their farmland is like killing the farmers. So, Secretary, how do you respond to any response to this uh, demand? Perhaps I'll defer to the Director of Planning to talk about uh, why is it um, no uh, removal or no demolishing can be done in certain areas. Uh, on the selection of locations in the 90s in the um, strategy development plan, uh, we've selected the NENT, and in 1998, we conducted a study to ascertain that this is feasible. Well, in the interest of time, please uh, ask her not to uh, recite history. Well, I just want to tell you why NENT was chosen, and it was it's going to be built on the Shangshui um, Fanling New Towns. You don't have to explain why you selected the sites. Please respond to the request or the demands of the farmers. You don't have to tell me the history, why the location was selected. But people are telling you that you are actually killing them, taking away their, their lives by taking, taking away their farmland. So what's your response? So. Um, if the farmland, farmland belongs to the farmer, then there will be compensation. And real farmers, according to existing policies, will try to find land for them to have um, agricultural rehabilitation. And they can apply to the uh, land department uh, to build a house um, with an area of uh, 400 square feet, uh, 17 feet in height, uh, to build, to put in their farming tools. And all the greenery and the seeds on the uh, farmland, there will be an, a, a very complete compensation mechanism. And we are also um, liaising with the AFCD, and they promised that they would proactively approach the affected farmers to help identify um, suitable farmland for them, and they will provide all the technical support they need. And they would render all kinds of assistance to the farmers. Chairman Kutong South, this plot has actually been uh, taken up uh, by property developers. A lot of it is now fellow. Well, it's, it's useless to ask the farmers to approach the property developers to negotiate for the land uh, to be used as farmland. Now, if you are undertaking a major development project like this and you are not doing a social impact assessment. That's strange. Well, actually, social impact assessment is a norm in the international community. So, Secretary, when are you going to introduce social impact assessment study? Uh, at uh, an earlier development panel meeting, and we are working together with the Food and Health Burial. Uh, working on measures to facilitate farmers to um, do agricultural rehabilitation. Now, we've conducted three P exercises for the NENT, and there's no way that we can go back and, 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 and consult afresh. No, that can't be done. Next one, Mr. Albert Chen, Chairman. Uh, in the past two decades, 
The government is using development as an excuse to wipe out um, villages, the livelihood of uh, farmers. I'm infuriated. Chatlapcock Airport, and you have um, flattened the Chatlapcock uh, Island, and a few households uh, were relocated, and Mr. Wong, Uncle Wong, he was uh, relocated to Yunlong, and he, and he passed away because he had a lung problem with the very poor quality in air quality in Yunlong. The, even the dog uh, passed away, died, because it refused uh, to drink and eat after it was relocated. So, so such relocation exercises may be fatal for people and animals alike. For Wake, the removal of Wake, the that w that was uh, mishandled too, and uh, 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 one of the bosses jumped to his death too, and a boss was um, was uh, forced uh, to take up the job of a security guard, and he couldn't adjust to his new job, and he also committed suicide. Same goes to Altan May. In the six days in our time, May the well was uh, still of uh, full of water. It had not dried up. Actually, I wrote three times to the MTRCL, and it didn't admit that it ha was responsible for that problem. You are cutting off the source of water supply for these villages, and the MTRCL CL still refuses to admit respond to. To, to be held responsible for it. And the government is turning also a blind eye to the issue. And the secretary, you are earning 19 times the profit of your original purchase price of the land. And for these villages in Autumn May, um, they are affected and they have the, um, the uh, very well reputed uh, um, fish ponds for calves. And these people lead a very simple life, uh, farming and uh, rearing fish. And now the government is trying to wipe out the village. Well, earlier I visited uh, the village and I asked the villagers to block the MTRCL from coming in to do construction works. Well, in the past, um, there were construction works going on in Yunlong. And um, and that led to uh, some cracks in the houses, and the property developers were were willing to uh, conduct an assessment of the damage, and they were willing to make some uh, compensation and help you improve your living conditions. But the MTRCL refused to take responsibility, and the government is sitting with its arms. Folded, doing nothing. So, out on my villages, I'm going to support you. You have given all the opportunities for MTRCL to make amends, but they didn't do so. And they wouldn't want to apply for CSSA either. So, perhaps after today, well, you can ask um, legislators to join you in blocking um, the way to their construction sites. Now, I don't think the MTRCL will do the same thing to uh, the villages uh, or the land owned by Hao Chi Kung or La Wong Fat. Without these uh, big bosses' approval, the MTRCL would not even dare to venture into the villages. Well, it's just that because you are the underprivileged group that, they, that you are being shortchanged and you are being bullied. Now, in building the West Rail stations, the MTRCL are also ignoring the problems that they are created in the construction works. So they, well, that was uh, for the Wake uh, bosses are committing suicide. There was a very small article in the media. The government netted a lot of money after resumption of land and property developers are making huge profits, but the grassroots are um, are suffering tremendously. So I don't want the um, mistake made at Chatlap Cop to be repeated, and and, and the villagers of Altamay don't have to suffer like those in Chatlap 
cock. So, so the secretary has liaised with the complaints division. Mr. Albert Chan, please abide by the rules of procedure. The complaints division's uh, colleagues said that they can meet with the uh, relevant um, speakers, and perhaps our working staff can escort the uh, villagers to the complaints division to make their complaints. Secretary, do you have any response? Secretary, uh, anything to add from you? Uh, no, not for the time being. Thank you, Chairman. Um, our staff can uh, lead or escort you to the complaints division, um, and you can meet with our complaints division colleagues. Mr. Chen Yuk Seng has already met with them, and, and their case is really being followed up already. Uh, some members are keen to help out, so let's do something additional extra here um, a lot of members would uh, try to lend a helping hand secretary any supplement no no Complaints Division. Please, our working staff, please uh, escort the villagers to go to the um, Complaints Division. I uh, will not, I'm not in position to allow you to speak any more. Sorry, speaker not coming through. Sorry, speaker not coming through. Okay, we heard you, Mr. Chan. We need to handle Mr. Leung Gai Cheng's motion. You can, deputations can leave now. If you need to visit the complaints division, we can have staff lead you there. Aotame Village. Let's break for three minutes. First.